ever get that feeling, you know, like you're looking at a website and there's just more, like you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like a shop window, all carefully dressed to impress. Exactly. And today's deep dive, we're taking that plunge, going below the surface with lonomad.com. The name kind of rings a bell, right? Hints at e-commerce, digital services, that global feel. And the French definitely adds a certain je ne sais quoi. Right. A little mystery. But what's the story they're trying to tell with this website? What's it say about the online world we're in? That's what we're here to figure out. I'm ready to dig in. Especially with these two lists of services you sent over. Similar, sure. But those little differences, they're fascinating. It's like they're testing the waters, right? See what sticks. And speaking of sticking out, they've got everything but the kitchen sink listed there. Web design, SEO, e-commerce on different platforms, even photography and e-learning. That's a lot to take in. It really is. They even mentioned FileMaker. Ever come across that one? Not exactly a household name. It's a pretty powerful database management tool, though. Businesses with complex data needs, inventory management, customer relations, that sort of thing, they're the ones who usually go for FileMaker. Interesting. So seeing it next to web design and marketing, that's a curious combo. It is. Makes you wonder if they're targeting a niche. Mm -hmm. Businesses that need a really strong online presence, but also need the back-end tools to manage their data. Could be a smart move if they can pull it off. Right. Be the one-stop shop. But is that even possible these days? Being a master of all trades in the digital world? Million-dollar question right there. It's tempting for business owners, I get it. But you gotta wonder about spreading yourself too thin. Do you try to do it all? Or focus on a few things and really excel? It's something to consider for anyone building their online presence, really. Truth. It's a balancing act for sure. Speaking of balance, let's talk about those recent articles on the site. Talk about an eclectic mix. We've got Dismantling yeah. Amazon a Good Idea, which is a pretty bold statement. Definitely eye-catching. You think they're trying to attract people who are wary of big tech? Could be. <laughs> then there's Buy Local, the watchword for the years to come. Yeah. Again, aligning themselves with a certain set of values, mm -hmm. right? Community over corporations. But then they've got pieces like new product photography service for e-commerce, which is very practical. It's interesting how they blend these big picture ideals with very concrete examples of their work. It's like they're dropping clues, leaving a trail. They're not just providing a service, they're aligning themselves with a specific type of customer. One who cares about ethical consumption, supporting local, and understand how important visuals are online. Which let's be honest, is huge E these days. Totally. It's like they're saying, hey, we get you. We're here to help you navigate all this. And it's not just talk. They back it up with real examples. Speaking of which, this article, new e-commerce site on Etsy, that one caught my eye. Now, for those who don't know. Etsy. Think digital craft fair. Global marketplace all about unique, creative stuff. It's become the go-to for independent creators and shoppers looking for something, well, special, one of a kind. Exactly. And what's interesting here, this isn't just them saying, look what we did. It's a case study. Right. They're showing their work. And they mentioned replacing a Society6.com store, which for anyone who's not familiar, that's another platform where artists can sell their work, mostly print on demand stuff. So it's not just building a website. It's helping a business move platforms, adapt to new trends because Etsy's popularity is undeniable right now and even target a specific niche creators, artisans. Savvy move. Yeah. Shows they understand the nuances of each platform, how to use them strategically. It's way more than just making a website look pretty. It's like they're not just riding the wave. They're the ones saying, hey, come on, the water's fine this way. And that Etsy move, that's smart, makes you wonder, what's next? TikTok shops. Am I going too far? You might be onto something. <laughs> it shows they're adaptable, you know? Yeah. They get that the online world is always changing. Always. And speaking of adapting, there's this one little thing on their site, I can't let it go. That 10% discount banner seems pretty standard at first, right? Marketing 101, but... But there's a catch. There is. That discount. It's for products, A-N-D services. Which kind of opens up a whole can of worms, doesn't it? Are they selling actual physical things alongside all the digital stuff? It's a good question. A little mystery. Right. It's like going into a bakery, you want a loaf of bread. Suddenly they're offering cooking classes too. Are they selling like handmade goods that go with their clients' businesses, software? Who knows? And that mystery just adds another layer to this whole Lenomod.com thing. But this whole blurring the lines between service and product, it's a trend. Think about it. You go to a website for, say, 
business consulting, and boom, they've got ebooks, toolkits, all for sale. Right. right. Like it's about more ways to make money, sure, but also giving the customer more options, more value. Like, we're not just selling you a service, we're curating a whole experience. Exactly. They're creating this whole ecosystem. You know, yeah. lots of ways for people to connect with what they're doing. Makes you think, what's the bigger picture they're painting with all this? It's like we stumbled into their little world, you know, yeah. where knowing the ins and outs of the Internet meets this passion for small businesses, ethical stuff. They've definitely given us a lot to unpack. They really have. And remember that feeling we talked about at the beginning? Like there's something more going on behind the website. Lenomod.com. This is a perfect example. For sure. We really got a peek behind the curtain today, went yeah. through their services, those articles, even that whole discount mystery. It all points to a company that's not just like selling a service. It's a whole vibe. They know what they stand for. And that's what makes this so interesting. It's bigger than just one website, right? Yeah. This is how business is done online now. What story are you telling? What do you believe in? How do you connect with people? It all matters. It's true. There's so much out there, so many choices people have. Being real, having a purpose, that's what makes you stand out. Who knows? Maybe Lenoma.com's got people thinking, hey, what about my online thing? Exactly. Doesn't matter if you're running a huge company or just starting out. There's always something to learn from the people who are doing things differently, shaking things up a little. Couldn't agree more. Well, on that note, I think we've reached the end of our deep dive into linomed.com. Hope you enjoyed the journey, getting a look at what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe sparked some ideas for you, too. Until next time, keep exploring. Ask questions. Be curious. There are so many fascinating stories hidden out there in the digital world.